think we are going back to you know a lot of investment in immunology, mainly due to the success of uh, checkpoint inhibitors. Hi, I'm Lucy Ellis, Senior Editor at Scrip, and I'm here at BioEurope in Berlin, and I'm joined by Alfredo Nicosia, the CEO of Nusspam, that announced the Series B financing today, so we're going to find out a bit more about that. So thanks for joining me, Alfredo. Uh, I wanted to start, if you could tell me a bit more about the company and the technology that you have. Well, the company is actually a new company, but the technology has been, or a similar technology has been already used in the past by another company we were working on, Okairos, and this is a technology for delivering genetic vaccines which is based on viral vectors. Okay, and do you announce the financing actually today while we're here at Bio Europe? So, uh, how much did you raise and how will that be used? We raised 42 million, and the idea here is to, with this new syndicate of very strong investors, is to be um, able to enter into the clinic next year and provide for proof of concept in the next two, three years. And you mentioned that this other company, so where did your technology come from originally? Technology comes from a, a group of scientists which have a lot of experience in big pharma and as I said more recently in biotech, uh, which had developed this technology already, I would say, more than 10 years ago. And, and during time and in time have optimized and now in Nuscom tailored to be used in the field of cancer vaccines. Definitely. And obviously oncology is a competitive area, so what's different about your company? I think we have at least two very important differentiators from other companies that are active in the field. First one is that our technology is clinically validated. As I said, I mean, we've been testing this in, in the field of infectious disease, but a very similar approach. And we have shown that it's very potent and induces a lot of uh, immune responses, especially CD80 responses, which are deemed very important for uh, combating cancer. The second reason is that because we are using this technology to deliver a new type of cancer antigens, the so-called neoantigens, we are able to deliver very many new antigens and this technology can do that in a very efficient way. And you successfully got this 42 million euro financing, which is a, a large sum for a, an earlier stage company. So what's the atmosphere like for the um, financing in oncology in Europe specifically? I think we are going back to you know a lot of investment in immunology mainly due to the success of uh, checkpoint inhibitors that have now opened the way for new immunotherapies and I think this is a good time for these type of investments. And um, talking more about Nuscom then, what milestones are coming up that you're looking forward to? Yeah, so the next milestone will be next year will be in the clinic and possibly have first data coming up uh, in 2019. And, and after that we need to be able to show that the technology is really valuable and hopefully will contribute to find new cures for cancer patients. And when thinking about sort of longer term uh, development plans then, how do you foresee that working out? Well, I would like to be able to you know, contribute, as I said before, and still being present when we'll see <laughs> the first success of this company, maybe uh, worldwide, the, the use of cancer vaccines which have been, you know, up to now shown to be very difficult yeah. to work, but now it's, it's a new era for cancer vaccines. And you're here at Bio Europe, so what's your partnering strategy? What's your interest here? Well, we are, think, I think that with this new set of investors, we are very now well positioned to you know, bring all our technology uh, to fruition, but certainly we'll be interested in certainly looking into partnership with uh, other important players. That's something we're looking into. And my final question then, for summary for you then, what's the long-term vision? What's the, the big goal? Big goal would be to um, find a way to uh, contribute to uh, new cures for cancer and vaccines and immunology are showing now to be one of the important ways to do that. So I think we should be able to, to do something in this area. Uh, so with big finance and secured in Series B, we'll watch the space and uh, see what happens for Nuscom. Okay, we'll see. Just watch and see. Well, thanks for joining us today.